are not saying those idioms don't exist. Mm -hmm. In our parliament, you can't even say Jesus Christ saves and delivers people from evil spirits. The speaker will say, unparliamentary, withdraw that statement. And yet it's the gospel. But in that decorum of theirs, they have agreed on the certain kind of language that fits their discussion. Zambia is no different. We are not a country without morals. We are a Christian nation for heaven's sake. This vote in Kawata is a vote on behalf of the Zambian people. This is a vote to punish liars. This is a vote to make sure that Mr. Haka and the HDMI should put his buttocks down and think before he takes any action. This business of troubling people's lives the fact that when you're at home, sorry for using this example, the fact that when you're at home you can go to a toilet and defecate there does not mean you can go to Cairo Road and do the same thing on the road and when people ask you you say but we all we do it also it's in our nature to do it we do it in our homes yeah in the home it's okay because that's the circumstance that's where the toilet is but the road is not the toilet it's the same thing with what we say we have to be careful as a country. Mm -hmm. That's how countries destroy themselves by saying these are our idioms. Idioms must line up with who we are and they must be used within context. So if you come and call me that you are that using some of my private parts and then want to convince me that it's an idiom, I shouldn't get upset. An insult is not to you because your values may not be high. Your morals may be very low. So for you, you think you are saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. But for Alexander, it's an insult. And as long as it's an insult to Alexander, you are interfering with his freedoms as well. The same freedom of expression you want. You are now interfering with his freedom of respectability so that he can be honored for who he is. He can also fight you back. So I don't think Zambians should debate this. I think the church should move in and put a stop to this. We are not saying idioms are not going to be used. Mm -hmm. They'll be used, but appropriately in the places they should be used to be able to educate on matters of life. But the way it's being used now, I do not think that was the intention of the Bemba elders. And please get the Bembas out of this. We are not a vulgar people. We have principles we believe and we know where to discuss them. We don't discuss them, you know, uh, with people other than us. And then we try to call them those things. That is a no-no. And I hope that Zambians can realize that it looks small, but if we start to allow this kind, even movies, um, uh, Alexander, they say, you know, this one, the, the children can watch it. This one only 16 years old. Mm -hmm. This one 18 years old. Why do they do that? The society must be regulated in a manner that it oozes out a moral air that protects everybody else. You can't just say what you want to say because it's an idiom. No, because it offends you, then it's an insult to you. And you are being violated and your rights are being violated. There are sayings in Bemba, and that's how come I'm donating a book to you called Inso Selo Namapinda, so that you can learn how the Bemba language is spoken. Yeah. We're just saying, think before you act, otherwise you are going to crash. If you don't listen to the advice that you are getting from opposition, like the vice president has continued to have press briefings to raise issues that are affecting the Zaman people. In Bema, there are certain idioms, there are certain expressions in Soselo, <clears throat> which we use in Bemba. That may sound insulting, 
that are colloquial in their nature, but they are not insults. If you tell somebody that Vasat, Vamulenga, Nanguva Wadia, taken Kwamatako Panish, it's not an insult. It simply means take it easy. That's the meaning. Balavash Kuruvantu, but take a Kwamatako Panish. Balavana Kuruvantu, but take a Kwamatako Panish. Wemwa nawe. Kwa papa tateka kwa matako panishi. Ni nso selo ya chwe mba. Ipili ulafia tateka nya. Teka nya. Take it easy. It's not an insult. And it will never be an insult. I'll give you examples of Bemba idioms. That are colloquial in their nature. That sound insulting. But they are not insults. For instance. You can say, Uyuta toyu, Nanguyushimulenga, Nibukala wambua, Wingila uche uche. Uyuta toyu, Uyushimulenga, Iyo mwaume, Nibukala wambua, Wingila uche uche. Simply meaning, is a person who does things slowly, but sure. Uyumuntu nibukala wambua, Wingila uche uche. It simply means he's a person who does things slowly but perfect. He gets perfect result. It's not an insult. There is a saying in Bemba, Umula andunga wa pitile pamputi na imwebe ne mupishe pamputi. Umula andunga wa pitile pamputi na imwebe ne mupishe pamputi. That's not an insult. It simply means give facts as they stand. Give facts as they stand. It's not an insult. Amaso yankashi, mutima. It simply means you can never marry a close relative because that is incest. Amaso yankashi, mutima. You cannot sleep with your close relative because that is tantamount to incest. Umu inewachi sushi, tafuisa mate. Umu inewachi sushi, tasaka mate. It simply means you cannot notice your own mistakes. You cannot notice your own mistake. All it is difficult for you to, comp to see your own mistakes. That's the meaning. But for those who are listening to these Bemba Idions and in Soselo, may think that is insulting. It's not insulting at all. 